Hey, it's Jazz and this is Wildlife Matters. Today, we are talking about an animal that is super cute. Nope, not cats. And not dogs either. But Asian small clawed otters or the Palawan otter. These creatures are locally known as Dumon or Pangkat Pangkatan. They can be found in Palawan as well as in other countries across Southeast Asia. Otters are related to skunks, weasels, wolverines, and minks. They are semi-aquatic, so they live on both land and water. These otters are freshwater otters, so they inhabit freshwater coasts, large rivers, small streams, ponds, lakes, and mangroves. These guys are aquatic predators, which means they'll hunt in water, and they'll eat anything in their way. Their diet mostly consists of crustaceans, mollusks, fish, amphibians, insects, and even reptiles as they try to smash the shells or break it with their teeth while holding it with both paws. Which, by the way, are web paws, which makes it easier for them to grasp objects like food. Otters are very smart. Some of them have even been trained to catch fish for people. And they're nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day and are more active at night. I'll never forget my experiences seeing otters from different countries in different aquariums and zoos that I've been to around the world. and. They are the absolute cutest. But Asian small clawed otters look kind of different from those that I've seen before. Because these otters are the smallest of all of the 13 otter species. And they have really small claws, which is how they got their name. Right now, Asian small clawed otters are classified as vulnerable. Their numbers are decreasing because of many threats, like slash and burn activities, deforestation, accidental trapping, and poaching. Poaching is such a huge issue for otters because they have been hunted for their fur or sold as exotic pets. Because of their cuteness, otters have become an online sensation and it's making people want to keep them as pets. And a lot of times, that involves business with the illegal trade. Otters are social beings and love to stick with their families. But a lot of baby otters end up orphaned because their parents were captured in the wild. Otters are often accidentally caught in animal traps. And in areas they're considered as pests, they end up getting killed or even eaten as meat because people have been hunting them for food for decades. Pollution is another problem because people have turned their habitats into garbage dumps. I mean, imagine having many people dumping their garbage into your home. It wouldn't just reek, it would be so unbearable. And not to mention, so toxic. Because of this, they will have to relocate or die of the many causes contributing to their loss. Otters are important for the ecosystem because they're considered as keystone species, which means that the ecosystem's balance is largely dependent on them. They are indicators of whether an ecosystem is doing well. And if they disappear, there would be drastic changes on the ecosystem. I mean, think about it, they're top predators. The animals they prey on will overpopulate. When it comes to conservation, they're often overlooked because there aren't enough scientific studies about them. And a lot of people in our country and all over the world don't even know they exist. It's hard to protect something people don't know about. Otters are very social creatures and one of the ways they communicate is through vocalization. Different sounds mean different things, so they can mean aggression, separation anxiety, pain, or even non-stressful things like eating, playing, or even just greeting. During this COVID season, people were forced to stay indoors. And staying indoors meant less pollution, cleaner air, and cleaner oceans. And in Turtle Islands in Tawi-Tawi, there were two sea otters, not Palawan otters, but sea otters, that were spotted for the first time in our country. And it's no coincidence that Turtle Islands in Tawi-Tawi is actually a protected area. So even though those weren't Palawan otters, the fact that we discovered two new species of otters here in our country means that protecting these areas can give us a better biodiversity. But with humans that are uneducated, there will always be a threat no matter how much amount of work we put into conservation. It's important that as Filipinos, we are aware of the local species we have, like the Asian small clawed otter or the Palawan otter. It is our duty to know and protect them. With our help, we can spread knowledge about these species in order to protect them and save them from extinction. Because every piece of wildlife matters.